Okay. Uh, you guys can see the screen right here. Shout out to my boy. And as I did say in the last video, if you do comment in my videos, bro, I am gonna choose somebody that do comment in the video in the description. I'm gonna give them a shout out, show them on the on the on the video right here. So if you guys do want um your chance to be in the video, a shout out for you, bro. Shout out your comment, bro. So in the description in general, bro. If you guys have any other video ideas you guys want me to do, bro, or any other videos you guys are interested in, bro. Follow me on my Instagram, as you can see on the screen right there, and hit me up on Instagram. Or hit me up, at, or hit me up in my comments. Cause I always respond on my comments, bro. Thank you guys for watching this, though. Don't forget to hit the little like and sub, bro. Get directly into this video, and peace the fuck out, fam. What's up, guys? It's your boy Alien CX. Today, guys, we're gonna be watching uh, my video, bro. One of my boys that I watch a lot, bro. Man's a G, bro. This is channel right here on the channel, bro. Go check him out, bro. And this video is gonna be um. Why Punch made Dev destroy the generation, bro? Let's try this man destroy the generation, bro. I you enjoyed this video, though. Hit that like, you know, you want to, bro. It's your boy. Thank you guys for um, the last video. Making the last video amazing, bro. When I have a chance to get shout out in the video, bro, comment in the description, bro. And you have a chance to be in the next video, bro. Let's get this shit started, bro. And follow the socials, bro. Stream on Twitch Saturdays and Sunday, bro. And let's get this shit started, bro. You know you want to. Punch made Dev, a rapper you probably been seeing going viral a lot lately for his scams and antics. And by the end of the video, you're gonna realize how good of a marketing genius bro he is. But where did he even come from? Dev from North Carolina, and growing up, he was pretty normal. He plays with sports here and there and really just did normal things. But that was all up until he got into high school. Basically, Dev had always been on the internet, but he wasn't always a rapper. At first, he was just a YouTuber. He was young and was just wanting some clothes. So one day, bro, was like, look, mom, can you, I mean, buy me some shoes? She told him no. And that had him thinking. He realized he needed to do something. He was like, bro, I need some bread now. And so he thought and decided to start his YouTube channel, Dev Take Flight. A 2K channel. He was grinding out vids, and for years he was doing his thing. And eventually, his 2K. There's a lot of a lot of black YouTubers in general, bro. Started with fucking 2K, bro. Man, I need, I need to create my own 2K channel. That's not gonna happen. I don't, I don't like basketball. I'm probably gonna get roasted in the chat for saying that, but I don't like basketball. Love turning some mo. Looking at it, they have a scammer at heart. He said during his 2K tournaments, he would have people throw the games for him there. They had match up against Dev and lose on purpose. And even though it started out small like that, it was only a matter of time before it grew. It grew from him throwing games on 2K to basically stealing money from people. So here's some contests for people that don't play games. Sometimes people will buy a high rank account on the game or something because they don't want to grind for it. And Dev would take advantage of that. Basically, he would get online saying he got all these high rank 2K accounts and he was selling them. And people would come to him thinking he legit but after they sent him the money he hit him with that block and slowly over time his scams turned away from 2k and more into real life and so my boy was born a scammer bro dang bro my boy was dang i mean if you're trying to buy an account to look good boy you, you're a dumbass you kind of a little bit you kind of a little bit kind of deserve to get a scam but dang that's what the sad is over imagine you're like oh boy i'm gonna get this good account blocked sorry buddy you just got your guarded over these next few years, bro, we start to get away from the YouTube game and turn more to the rap game, the scam rap game. This part of the game really got big around the 2019, 2020 time. And before y'all get in the comments saying anything, no, I'm not saying it got created then, that's just when it got big. But when Dev got into the scene, he sat and thought, he was like, I need to do something different. So, bro, started to say anything on the beat. I'm talking about some of the craziest bars you know I never heard. I flash an artistic kid on the floor, come get your seat back. I'm a jiggy he and after doing this for a while, bro, recently started to blow up. Yeah, that song, that song is fucked up. A lot of his songs are fucked up, is uh, but I feel like his songs that he makes it kind of just like shock value in general, so people can start speaking about him. But I feel like that's the main reason why he makes his songs. Like, like, I mean, no, I mean, some of the songs are catchy as fuck though, but it's just that my boy be saying crazy wild ass shit, bro. And to that ain't my boy. That man be scamming people. That ain't my boy. And I mean viral. Every time you get online, every time you get on Twitter, IG, TikTok, you're going to at least see something about Punch Made Dev at least one time. Like, just the other day, he dropped a song named Wire Fry Tutorial, right? But he was on his TJ86 time. But before I even get into that, him and TJ got their own history. A few years back, Dev and TJ were supposed to make a song. But Dev ended up scamming TJ out of feature. Then they had got to arguing and took it straight to IG. I'm banned if you touch me, I'm going to blow you down. And I don't want right. to have to do that. Not no shooter. You a 2K they get you know, all green. What you think I am? What is your opinion gotta do with? I don't. Your opinion doesn't. No, it's not an opinion. Nigga. It's like a fact. You feel me? Wait. So you talking about these hitmans in your song? You really got them? Cause I'm still alive. Oh, that's the past, bro. After this though, somehow Dev ended up getting TJ address and pulled up the bro crib. This is not here. 
he's not here at all. But right after getting to the crib, he allegedly seen TJ and tried to chase him down. TJ's running. He's running. Bro, this is going so fast, bro. Now, whether this was actually TJ. Why the fuck you chasing a man now, bro? You niggas in the rap game and making this shit way too crazy, bro. Y'all think that being a rapper just, just means you gotta be an it man, bro. That shit is crazy as hell, bro. Well, y'all be, tra be tracking people down just to kill them, bro. This shit is crazy as hell, bro. And y'all be surprised, like, bro, I got a case right now, bro. Free me, bro. No! You said, man, this is society. You chasing people down and go fucking find them. Get some help. What the fuck? Just keep it in the raps. It's ridiculous as hell. They running from him or not, we'll never know. But eventually, Dev did run down on him at the mall. And look, I'ma just let the club speak for itself. Look who running. Lil TJ. Touch me. Touch me. That's what I thought. My nigga, he's, he's with his kids, bro. You want a nigga to start fighting you with his kids, bro? Like, don't get me wrong, I don't like any of them. What are them? They're fucking, they're both scammers, bro. They're literally both scammers. I ain't, they're both literally scam rappers. But at the same time, bro, like, my boy. Really, bro, is with his kids, and that's when you want to go fight him, bro. You're a piece of shit. Like, I understand, like, what y'all want to do, your crazy shit, but, like, you're trying to fight somebody where they're with your kids, bro. You're a piece of shit, bro. You're just a piece of shit. Like, that's just ridiculous as hell, bro. Because you're not impacting only his life, you're also impacting his kids' life by doing some stupid ass shit like that, bro. Like, really, bro, you're a piece of fucking trash. You're a piece of shit. It's fucking stupid as hell, man. Your kids. Don't talk none of that shit in there no more. This nigga just say, fuck your kids? Nigga, fuck you. Is he? No. I just be doing some stupid ass shit. These niggas just say fuck his kids. Go fuck yourself, bro. I'm done with this stupid shit, bro. None of that shit on the internet no more. Little had a chance to come outside. I get that they was beefing, but running down on somebody while they shopping with their kid is crazy. They do not. That's exactly what the fuck I'm saying, bro. You fucking stupid. Who be doing this shit? Wait, we'll just get. You getting way too fucking much, bro. You stupid as fuck, bro. That's just ridiculous as hell make you look hard but when dev got some backlash for it he still doubled down nothing about that kids he had the chance to come outside i pulled up on him i said run the ones this want to run the ones he took five steps towards the door and turned around and said he got a gun he got a gun that's when i pulled out the video he don't get no pass with his kids back to the story he made his own wire fraud tutorial and he went into detail step by step on how to scam and this went viral it was so many streamers and ig pages reposting this song you couldn't get away from it. this little step by step tutorial song ain't come without no problems not too long after he dropped the video youtube took it down and he decided to hit up youtube for an explanation my youtube video was wrongfully removed my video wire no, you no, my boy, you were cheating people out of scam, bro. That's not a wrongfully removed video. You were literally teaching people how to scam with the people. My boy, that's what nah bro. Nah, but it's like bro, what why did you why did you remove my tutorial on out of rob a bank with that blicky? Nah, uh, let me see. Cause you were cheating people out of rob a bank with a fucking blicky, bro. Nah, bro, that's ridiculous. You stupid as fuck. For our tutorial was solely a reenactment to educate the viewers on how to protect themselves from fraud. Please reinstate my video. YouTube responded. What's up? Thank you for the information. We passed this along to the support team. Unfortunately, this is beyond our reach. As the video was specifically requested to be removed from outside sources, he said, I submitted an appeal. Still no response. YouTube hit him with the look. We can't even help you no more. So they cut the conversation short. Then right after that, he got an email. This notice is to inform you that we received legal process from law enforcement seeking information about your account and produce data as required by law. The legal process was accompanied by an order that prohibited us from disclosing information about the case until a specific time. We were legally required to produce records specified in the demands. If you would like additional information about the legal process, please let us know. So look. So this is why you don't you don't go out of your way making this song out of scam people because I feel like a lot of these rappers they think that cops are not watching bro cops are always watching bro cops are always watching it's their job to literally watch you be a dumbass and snitching yourself bro and I get it like he says he uses a VPN he uses this so he can't be caught bro they're still gonna find you eventually because you're still gonna slip up you're a human being bro the best thing to do when you scam is you don't tell people you scam. Cause it's just dumb. That's like me going to go rob a bank. I mean, I've, I've seen videos about people that rob a bank and then bag about robbing the bank. So I can't even talk about that, bro. Let's get back to the video. I can't even talk about that. People, people just want to be stupid as fuck.
So look, at this point, it's not just YouTube taking this video down. 12 took it down. 12 started to look in the bro, and he tried to make it seem like he was just doing it for educational purposes and, oh yeah, this just for fun. But in reality, he hurting the generations coming up, even if he is quote unquote doing this for fun. Imagine how many kids watching Dev do all this scamming, making all their money. That's gonna make no one to do it. And he said himself that he don't want to influence no kids, but he know what he doing and he know that's what he doing. If these kids seen these videos, oh, I'm scamming. I'm giving you a step-by-step -step on how to scam. Look how much money I make. I'm making that bag. It's only a matter of time before they try to follow in bro footsteps. But I don't get the rap game today. They don't let self snitching become a trend. He really sat here and went in a step-by-step detail on how to scam and ain't expect nothing to happen. And let's say in reality, he not scamming or doing nothing he rapped about. What do you gain from having the police put eyes on you? Nothing good can come from that. But the controversy don't stop at that. A few days after this, he was on live with Aiden Rose. And for some context leading up to this, he was making some YouTube videos with this YouTuber that went by the name Tommy G. And they dropped the I'm not getting canceled for this, but fuck it and watch. But that nigga be saying stupid shit. That nigga went from being a funny YouTuber to just being a funny YouTube streamer to being a dumbass, bro. Fuck it and watch, bro. Like, fuck. Video name investigating the internet's most famous scammer. And basically, the whole video was just Dev going into detail on scamming and how to prevent yourself from getting scammed. Robin Hood was well liked because he took from the rich and gave to the poor. Yeah. Do you view yourself as a modern day he was not preventing people in that video. He was literally sh scamming people in the video while literally doing. He pulled that six hundred dollars from somebody else's bank account. That was not a tutorial with you. That was literally you you videoing yourself scamming somebody, bro. Like no. Robin, take from the rich and give to the poor. I really take from the poor and then the rich is me. And this vid blew up at almost four million. So that probably put so many new eyes on, bro. But back to him and Aiden. During this time, he was live with Aiden. He was out doing what he do trying to scam and so bro get to walmart with the shiesty on and like 30 chains but he on live with aiden ross keep in mind ain't no telling how many people was watching the stream because normally aiden average about 40 thousand viewers but he get in there head to the tv section grab a tv and do what he do but as he checking out a worker came up to him and stopped he said what <laughs> wait he broke even through the mask i begin recognized he walked by, he was like, stay over there, bro, stay over there. He knows exactly what I'm doing. After this, he was in the store for a few minutes and was still on the phone with Aiden, but ended up muting it, so we don't know what was said. But we do see bro talking to one of the workers and end up running out the store. Hello? That's the problem when you snitching yourself, bro, and you become big snitch for being, you become big, becoming a snitch. People recognize you, and people literally instantly, when they see you anywhere, they physically fucking like, stink you about the scam shit. In general, I'm pretty sure they call the cops, and this nigga was like, yeah, I gotta do the take, I gotta do the race, bro. Because they wanna call the cops and rest my dumb ass, bro. Because, well, why are you streaming yourself? So like, I don't understand these people, bro. You be dumb as shit, man. Your mic, your mic, Wait, nobody can hear you. Is he running? He got caught? Then, not too long after this, he got back on the phone with Aiden. They get to talking and he get this side of wet down. He basically said he was in there trying to get the TV. And one of the workers recognized him from that Tommy G YouTube video I was just talking about. So the Walmart worker get loud and he like, bro, is you really punch me? Damn, just fanboying. And when the people around him heard that, everybody started crowding around, bro. And eventually the Walmart security ended up coming up to bro. And that's when he ran. But he was moving real bad. He said they took a picture of his license plate and the cops showed up at his crib about an hour later. And they ended up detaining, bro. They took him to the police station and started questioning him for hours. And later on after this, bro, ended up going into the jail to prove to Aiden viewers that he was actually at the jail. But when the cops started questioning him, he said he told him he was just making TikToks with his bro and he wasn't doing nothing crazy. But, but with the kind of person Punch Made is, People ain't gonna believe nothing he say or what he doing. And another artist, Bandman Kevo, even has something to say. I feel like he he definitely is making money, but it's not from committing fraud. Like, just think about it like this, bro. If you did a video doing a crime, you're instantly going to jail. Like, you know what I mean? Like, ain't no <laughs> waiting. They're not gonna wait around. And be, like, ain't, they not gonna cap with you. You going straight to jail. Like, but the one question people always have when it kind of punch made dead, is he really scamming? I think so much of his appeal is from people thinking he dumb enough to snitch on himself like this or... Is he just playing everybody? I think Dev is another rapper coming into the game off antics and good marketing. Me personally, I think he might have scammed before, but today he got other sources of money coming in and just playing in the whole scammer image. Cause you see 
how viral is making him. But at the end of the day, he's still negatively influencing the generation coming up. But on the topic of influencing the generation, my last video was a story behind the beef of two of the most influential rappers of the sound. Go check out my boy this video, bro. I don't know if I'm just a saying general, man. Either way, bro, that'll just make him look like a piece of shit. If he, I, hope he's, I hope he's just faking and he's not actually scamming people. That'll make him look better, but if he is, bro, like, I don't know what to say, bro. Remember, Alien CX, bro, and peace the fudge out. Go fudge yourself.